excited. So excited. That's why it's so good to see him. <laughs> the most important thing I'm looking forward to today is seeing Ryan's reaction and seeing how he loves this experience. I think that putting him in a situation that he can really enjoy will really bring out the real Ryan. I need this experience to know like if you're the kind of person that I could be more than friends with and spend the rest of my life with. I'm kind of coming into this date with no real expectations, uh, just kind of with the hope of getting to know Trista and letting her know who I am. Before, I felt like you really need to know someone before you get married to them. You know, like you need to live with them and have, you know, an, an intimate relationship. And right, and so, you, and then, and then I started thinking about it. You know, I'm like, if you, if you know enough about them and you, you know that you love them, then why not get married? I mean, why not make the Ryan kind of threw me for a loop and made me think, you know, maybe I could think of engagement less traditionally. He is such a romantic, and I've always wanted a person like that. Well, if this is going to be some sort of fairy tale ending, like right. if I came on television and met this beautiful right. person, and, and, I, and I'm engaged to her, you know, let's just carry out the fairy tale. Like, yeah. let's jump on the, well, not jump on the horses and run, let's walk out into the <laughs> sunset. You know, let's just walk out, out the two of us into the sunset and, you know, live happily ever after. Yeah. Ryan and I had SeaWorld to ourselves, and we suited up and got in our wetsuits, and we went and swam with the dog. I would love to hug him. Smooch on him? Yes. Cool. I thought it was fun talking about kissing the dolphins and having Ryan not have kissed me yet. I could be flirtatious on our first date. Ryan, what do you want? Um, I, I want to hug and smooch on him, too. Hug and smooch? Okay. <laughs> I guess I was a little jealous when uh, Trista kissed the dolphin, but uh, I don't know if there's anything I can do to a 600-pound animal that can swim a lot, a lot faster than I can. Yeah, she's about 24 years old. What a girl. Single? <laughs> and available. <laughs> the dolphins were so beautiful. The fact that Ryan and I could share it together and that he'd never done on a date before, it was really neat. Let's go get a tip, guys. <laughs> Gentlemen, start your engines. Bob, Mike, Jamie, Greg, and Rob, we're going to start the day off fast, and then we're going to slow it down and really get to know each other on the beach. I was invited. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you how yeah. she always says her name first in the video. There's a reason, Charles. Oh. <laughs> to dinner with Shamu. <laughs> <laughs> and Ryan. <laughs> After we swam with the dolphins, we got cleaned up and we sat down to dinner in front of Shamu's pool. Do you have any concerns about me? No. I'll just, I don't know. I just get such a, it's just something about you that is, is just right for me. And so. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hi, guys. <laughs> I really have no idea what's going to happen with Ryan. I'm open to everything. I think he's just, he just makes my heart go pitter-patter. I guess this would be as good a time of, of, as any to give you something else that I actually have for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little something I came up with yesterday called Something About Her. Here I am, not knowing where I stand. Here I am, looking for a place to land. My heart in the palm of her hand, a boy dying to be her man. Between tomorrow and yesterday, what I really want to say is that I'm falling for something about her. She is to me the rainbow through the rain. She is to me the laughter through the pain. She's living in my dreams. She's a vision, and it seems that I'm falling for something about her. I read the poem to her at dinner, and she, she started crying. I was not happy to see her crying, but I was, it, it gave me hope that maybe she felt the same way I felt, so it was nice. <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. That was so beautiful.
I kind of realized that she kissed me, but it was almost just like a surreal moment. It's sort of frustrating because it was kind of a first kiss, and it's all just kind of a blur for me right now. That's it. I can just be like, ah, oh, it's over. I love it. Mm -hmm. This night is perfect. The way that I feel when I'm with him is, it just makes my heart flutter. I really, I really can feel something brewing here, and it feels like something that could work for a very, very long time. I got you a little sham. <laughs> I'm really not concerned about what's going on with Tristan and Ryan. Ryan open up as much as other guys. It's just kind of more of a wallflower. I'm gonna go send this cute thing. It's about time. It's gonna be freezing this time. Yeah, I'm not saying he's not sensitive. He might be a good person, but she's probably looking for a very well-rounded individual that is both intelligent, uh, sensitive, comical, whatever it might be. So, if she ends up falling in love with Ryan because that's what she wants in a man, then I don't want to fall in love with her. Poor Ryan, Charlie's calling him a wallflower. I worry about Charlie being more about the winning and less about yeah. the getting to know Trista, which I, I understand the impulse to do that, but yeah. I think that it could backfire in the end because if he's picked... And he doesn't know Trista's name, then we have got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> and he's exactly. won. But, you know, exactly. He's, well, then what do you think about Ryan? Do you think Ryan's missing out because he's, like, he's not really aggressive like a shark? It really depends what she wants. I mean... It, I don't know, that poem was pretty edgy. Yeah, that was <laughs> deep. <laughs> edgy poem. I don't know. It made her cry. Yeah. He well, said he didn't want her to cry, but then, but then he, cry, felt, he felt like right. maybe he, he made a connection. She liked it. Yeah. Yeah. What he said, she likes it. True, yeah. She did. Well, there's a few guys left that need to convince Trista that they deserve a rose, and we're going to see how they do. And.